Hey guys, it's Andres. Uh, I had a lot of requests about photoshopping designs and it's quite hard for me to explain everything in details because I just use it all automatically and I did learn Photoshop myself so I don't really know how I do it anymore at this point but I'll try to show you quickly how to get from all these free images get to something like this what can be used as a nice tattoo design or base for a great tattoo design so first thing you do, open the Photoshop click on File, New paper size A4 just to know where the design gonna be on the page when I will print it out so I can kinda guess the size so let's open two designs what we're gonna edit today file open and choose your designs we'll go for this one and file open now you have your blank page and you have two designs here so I'll go on that skull with this tool over here you can mark how much of design you want so I'll take it all, edit, cut, we go to our blank page and we do edit and paste, so here's tiny design, do that the same thing with the other one, so here you can see in layer number one we have skull and in layer two we have two machine, that's how you can switch from one to another, I'm not sure if your photoshop have exactly the same thing here, but you can go to window and there you can make exactly what to appear there I'm not gonna tell you how to do all that because that's just Photoshop basics and you can always check some videos about that one what more kind of talks about programs and stuff I'm just gonna try to show you quickly how to mock up some designs so now when we're gonna be on the first layer of skull so now you just go to edit and free transform this allows you to make image bigger and squeeze it or shrink it or whatever Let's keep it around this size and by pressing this locking one it will lock it on the place so your design stays always the same now what I will do I will just click this tool here eraser and I just gonna try to get rid of some of that black in the background because we don't really need this one and again there's like so many tools you can use for that you can you can use like sharper edges or you can use more blurry air and you can go through all that options when you have a lot of free time and, and you just need to go and experiment what, what, what kind of stuff you like to do here you can zoom in as well with this one over here to go even closer if you really need I think that's pretty cool now let's do the same thing with the two machine and with this eye over here you can turn off the layers so it's easier for you to edit it and again I'll delete all around so here we have the two machine as well and here we have the skull over here when you choose what layer you're working on you can go on opacity and you can make it see truth as much as percentage you want that will be really helpful for you to place the design where you want to because you can see exactly where it's gonna go and that way you can merge some designs together as well you can check how it's gonna work or same thing with other you can make it lighter so you can kind of place it in the background like that so you can use it as a shading underneath I will actually try to make it coming out of his head I'll do crack over here I have another image saved for that alright this one now we have like three images over here so it's a little bit complicated so again you can turn off the layers which ones you're not gonna work I'm leaving this one and we're gonna make opacity lower so I can see where to place it you can just adjust it and you can take a razor tool delete it around so you can just play a little bit around and place it where you think it will work the best where you want it you can like do it on the side maybe and let's just keep it like this for now you can put opacity back the next thing what you can do is to go to over here and press multiply it will kind of make more effect that it's actually happening inside that skull there's loads of things you can do with that layer so let's turn on this layer of the machine you can take opacity down again just play around and see how you want it to fit the design and maybe let's do like this big like monster tattoo machine smashing the skull you just take a eraser and delete a little bit around and now we can put opacity back on delete a little bit more I think that's better now if you're gonna tattoo designs edit both pictures as well just make sure they're matching just go here in image and adjustments even with this small simple brightness and contrast you can make it more work together 
or what I usually do, I make it all black and gray and then I edit it because I, I do black and gray tattoos in the end. Just go to image, adjustments, desaturate. And same thing with that skull. Maybe I'll move it a little bit down. Now when it's black and gray, it's easier for me to see. And I'll go for image and levels. Levels here gives you really good options because you can go all the way really dark or you can get like lighter skull and it's al almost like two different skulls that way. And I'll do the same thing to Tattoo Machine. Of course, when you print it actually out, add some more background or some flow or draw, draw some leaves for this one. Or for anything else you do in Photoshop, try to put some background, maybe other details with, or do them in the colors what you prefer and make it your own. This was just simple one to, to show you how to make design. I usually spend a lot more time on this and make sure everything and the angles and everything I'll I like kind of in matches, but I hope this gave you some idea how you can do them. So here it is, finished design. I don't really draw in Photoshop, I don't really edit that much photos on Photoshop. I usually do it by hand later on when I print out, then I do the rest on top of it. I don't make digital paintings or drawings, so I can't really explain that, but there's like millions of videos explaining everything how to use Photoshop, how to do digital paintings if you're interested in that, and how to use brush tools and how to use all of these tools. So just make sure to check out some of the channels what explains a little bit more about things that you can do on Photoshop. That's all I use, what I use today, only a few tools here and a few there. And that's about it. So yeah, thumbs up if this video was helpful and I'll see you next time.